and then 12 months' time. This is the Temple Challenge Cup, University of London A. You can see on the Berkshire station at the top of your picture, up against the Americans here. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see the reflection of the injury. Syracuse University to the right. So we've got the Temple Island early stretch of the race done, and here we can see the Americans have taken a half-length lead. And what's the? Mm, I don't know. I was expecting UL to, to dominate. I don't know why. I was expecting them to win this particular race. So yeah, a big, big first half there from Syracuse to take that out. It'd be interesting to see, you know, how UL respond to that. You haven't That's got it. money on it. No, the, the ooh was, uh, yeah, I'm not a gambling man. That's good. Okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, University of London, they've got a lot to do here. They're the best part of a length down. But it is, it is an experience, an inexperienced crew at Henley from UL. You know, there's not much experience across both boats, to be honest. But there is, this is everybody in the UL's boat, their first time competing yeah. the regatta. So, Debut forward. Yeah, yeah, so sometimes that, that can be a bit challenging. You know, you can get overall by what's going on around you, the noise, you know, the water. But it'd be interesting to see how they start to move now as they start to make their way to the regatta enclosures. So let's have a look at what the University of London can do. So if he's, yeah, they're giving it a go, aren't they? This is a crucial stage of the race. I think this is the push. If the order's going to change, it will be now. Yeah, and Syracuse took that early advantage. You saw him get out of the start really quick, take that early advantage, and they seem to have just yeah, held on to that. They haven't really kind of moved out anymore for quite some time now. There's Jack Gorman in the bow seat. The orange and blue of Syracuse University from the USA. 20 years old. He has actually been to Henry Royal Regatta previously once. Only he and Sam Hobson in that American boat. We've got any prior experience at Henley. And now we can see in there Rory Gilligan, final year medical student at King's College London, recently qualified as a doctor, 24 years old. This is a really good race. It's just hotting up now in front of Stewards. I think we're going to see the Americans hang on, but they've been run a little bit closer than they would have expected. And they've had to put in a, a last push to hold off University of London in front of Stewart. It is very tight. University of London thrashing away, trying Charging. to get back in. They haven't got too much longer left to hold on the Americans, and they'll be pleased to get past that finish line and to get past University of London. In the end, the uh, margin was not much more than a quarter of a leg. That was a great finish. It was a great finish from UL, though. They just gave them too much early on. You know, and at Henley, you want to stay in touch. You know, Syracuse just got too much. They had a really good last couple hundred metres at UL, but just ran out of water there. 